Hello to all you good people, you're watching 3.0 TV. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, leading you into the world of digital currencies. Crypto TV has rebranded itself as 3.0 TV to provide an all-round update to viewers and help broaden the understanding of the evolving digital segment, including cryptocurrencies, blockchain projects, metaverse, non-fungible tokens, cybersecurity, and several other related issues. So keep watching 3.0 TV for all things related to Web3 to keep abreast of all the ongoing happenings and transformation in the digital space. Here are the top trending stories. Cryptocurrencies plunge on fear over Fed's rate move. Bitcoin at three-week low. Tether disclosures show $28.9 billion in U.S. Treasury bills. Cardano's vessel hard fork set for further delay. South Africa's central bank allows banks to serve crypto clients. Aussie exchange Swiftex cuts staff by 21% amid beer market. Crypto lender Hodlnot announces police inquiry, 80% staff cut. Robinhood slashes offer to buy crypto exchange Zigloo by 60%. Digital India Act to monitor OTT, social media and the metaverse. Hello viewers, wish you all a very happy Janvashtami. Now let's deep dive into these stories. Cryptocurrencies plunged in early US trades on Friday on fading hopes of a smaller Federal Reserve rate hike next month after data showed tight labor market conditions. Bitcoin fell to its lowest level in three weeks. US stocks fell, with all the key indexes trading lower in early trades. The tech-heavy Nasdaq fell by over 1.3%, while the broader market S&P 500 index dropped nearly 1%. Investors are wary after data on Thursday showed that the US job market remains strong, which could encourage the Fed to rate hike by 75 basis points for a third straight time to tame runaway inflation. In recent months, virtual currency prices have moved in tandem with US stocks, marking the strongest correlation since 2010 between digital assets and key equities indexes such as S&P 500 and Nasdaq. Two voting members of the Federal Open Market Committee on Thursday indicated that the U.S. Central Bank might continue to raise interest rates until inflation fell back to its 2% target. Cryptocurrency exchanges liquidated over half a billion dollar worth of long positions in future trades in the past 24 hours. Analytical data showed. Bitcoin, the largest virtual coin by market capitalization, tumbled as much as 9.1% to $21,281, its lowest level since late July. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, plunged over 9% to $1,690, while smaller tokens saw even sharper declines, with Avalanche, Cardano and Solana falling more than 10% in intraday trading. Stablecoin issuer Tether on Friday published results of its latest quarterly assurance opinion, completed by public accounting firm BDO. The report reveals it holds $28.9 billion in U.S. Treasury bills, $6.8 billion in money market funds, cash and bank deposits of $5.0 billion, reverse repurchase agreement of almost $3 billion, and non-U.S. Treasury bills of $397 million. It also shows a more than 58% decrease in Tether's commercial paper holdings over the prior quarter of $20 billion to $8.5 billion. This report comes weeks after the stablecoin issuer said that it holds no Chinese commercial paper. The Cardano vessel hard fork will likely suffer another delay as a prominent Cardano developer, Adam Dean, revealed that the blockchain's testnet is catastrophically broken after new bugs were discovered in the codes. The rush to meet the deadline for the mainnet upgrade has now made the upgraded testament incapable and incompatible with syncing, Dean said in a tweet. 
The Vassal Upgrade is Cardano's biggest event aimed at increasing the size of each block, allowing more space for data to be saved on each block added to the blockchain or simply to improve scalability. South African Reserve Bank, the country's central bank, allowed its lenders to deal with crypto-linked funds, including servicing customers seeking to convert fiat currencies to buy cryptocurrencies. The central bank's revised guidelines were in response to a few local banks' moves to shut down accounts tied to crypto exchanges. Earlier in June, some lenders in South Africa blocked customers from using their credit or debit cards for buying crypto from overseas exchanges. Swiftex, an Australian cryptocurrency exchange, has had to lay off 74 people, amounting to 21% of its staff, in order to cut costs as it navigates the current bear market. Swiftex joins a long list of crypto firms that have experienced growing pains as a result of this year's significant decline in crypto, with US exchanges Coinbase and Gemini, both reducing their headcount by 18% and 20% in recent months. The announcement comes on the heels of a major employee layoff at Singapore-based exchange Crypto.com, which laid off 260 people in June, accounting for 5% of its workforce. Various unconfirmed reports online this week suggested that the figure could be as high as 1,000. Hodlnot, a Singapore-based crypto lender, updated the community on its judicial management filing, as well as announced two troubling updates. First, the platform announced the layoff of 80% of its workforce, or approximately 40 people, in order to reduce the company's expenditure. According to today's announcement, the remaining employees were necessary for current operations. Second, and perhaps more concerning, Hotelnot is facing legal action from the Singapore Attorney General and the Singapore Police Force. These actions are taken in what we believe to be the best interest of our users, the cryptocurrency lender added. On August 8, Hotelnot tweeted that it would freeze withdrawals, deposits and token swaps on the platform. Robinhood has reduced its bid to acquire London-based cryptocurrency exchange Zigloo. According to a source, the acquisition price was recently reduced from $170 million to $72.5 million, 60% less than the original price. The acquisition was part of Robinhood's strategy to expand its digital asset presence in international markets. The initial agreement was signed in April 2022 when Robinhood signed an agreement to acquire the London-based company. With Zigloo, UK-based customers can buy and sell 11 cryptocurrencies, earn yield via its Boost products, pay using a debit card, and move and spend money, even abroad, without fees, a Robinhood spokesperson wrote in a blog post at the time. Zigloo's latest amendment Robinhood acquisition pegged Zigloo shares at £28.29, equating to 41% loss for early investors. The Digital India Act, or DIA, India's upcoming digital regulatory framework, will have jurisdiction over OTT and social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook and the Metaverse. The Digital India Act will apply to all digital platforms, including social media platforms, OTT platforms and online apps, as well as Web3 applications like the Metaverse and blockchain. Any violations of content guidelines by OTT platforms such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, such as spreading misinformation or inciting violence, would be monitored by the DIA. By the winter session of the Parliament, the Ministry of Electronics and IT hopes to have replaced the existing IT Act 2000. Well, those were the top trending stories. Keep watching your favorite channel, 3.0 TV. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, signing off.